Hi guys, Chris here from Apollo Scooters, Canada's e-mobility destination. Today, we're going to show you how to install the new upgraded throttle for the Mercury 2020 Pro. Just keep in mind, this is a very delicate and a little time consuming process. It'll take you roughly 15 minutes. Uh, all you need is an add-in key uh, and a lot of patience. Please be very careful and follow each and every step of this video uh, as the wiring is going to be very sensitive inside of the Mercane. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so first steps first, make sure your Mercane is switched off uh, and you're going to take the second smallest Allen key and you want to take out all four screws located in the Mercane. So one, two, three, four, all for the dashboard. There's four screws here. So what makes it easier is actually just folding your Mercane uh, and then you take the Allen key and you can see much easier and undo the screws here. So it's much easier just the angle. Again, there's one screw here, one screw here, one screw here, and one screw here. All four, remove those, first step. So now the four screws are undone, now you can unfold your Mercane. So this is probably going to be the hardest part of the whole installation. It's having to remove the rubber handle. Honestly, it's just a twist and pull uh, mechanism that you're just going to have to do until the whole handle comes off. So let's get into it. So the best way to do it is, you know, a twist and pull approach. So you can watch how we do it, but it's quite tough to do it around at home. Another technique is to fold the handlebar and then just, when you twist, it has less friction, making it easier to pull off overall. So as you can see, that was a very, very tough process. Um, other solutions are you can also cut the, the handle and just buy another handle to make it easier. Um, but once that's done, that's, that's the hard work done. So the next step is to undo, loosen the brake handle and the throttle. So add in key again, it's the biggest one. There we go. So this one you have to do from underneath. There's one hole with the uh, second smallest add in key and you just want to undo that screw here so it becomes loose. Make sure you loosen it completely so to avoid scraping your handlebar as well. So the next step is going to have to remove the whole throttle from the inside. Uh, but as you can see inside, the throttle is connected with hot glue. So the first step you're gonna do is have to cut the hot glue and pull out the throttle. And also with the brake sensor, and we're gonna show you how to do this. Lastly is the connecting cable here that blocks any water or any damage going into here. Is you're gonna have to modify it for the new throttle. So this bit's gonna also have to be cut off over here. So this is exactly what the throttle is inside of your control board. This right now is submerged with hot glue all around here. So our goal is to remove the glue out of here, which is in your control board. So make sure you're very careful with your knife and you're gonna to to remove the glue just around this level here so that you can unplug it like this. So as you can see here, here's a throttle. It is all submerged in hot glue all around here and you wanna just scrape the glue very softly. Take your time, don't force it, don't cut any wires. Just cut the glue here, as I'm doing here, as you can see. Keep cutting on the plastic parts. And now you should be able to remove. There we go. So as you can see, the piece is submerged with hot glue, but we cut it right over here, which is perfect, and which made it so easy to just pull out. So take your time, nice and slowly. Don't force anything, and now your throttle is disconnected. So your next step is to remove the brake, the right brake, because you have to remove the brake to put the new throttle on. Uh, and the same thing, you have to cut just the glue. So make sure you see which one it is and the exact connector of your right brake. So it's the one up over here. Okay. So you can see the same thing here. It's all submerged in hot glue, but we just cut off. We cut where it was submerged here, which made it quite easy to pull out afterwards. So now you have it. So once you've disconnected it from here, make sure both wires are loose. And now you can pull off the brake and the throttle and get the new throttle that you just received. So now your new throttle, make sure it's gonna be the way you're gonna put it on. And then you slide it onto the handlebar all the way, as you can see here. And then put the brake again back on, just the same direction as you disconnected it. There, and now we're gonna reconnect them back to the circuit board. So make sure when you're plugging in your new throttle that you can see that it's three holes here and on the top there's like a plastic piece. Make sure you put it in the right same space as uh, on the control board. 
So there you can see the tooth up here. Make sure you put it in the right direction. Clip that in. So make sure you push it in enough. And there we go. It shouldn't be all the way completely in. You'll see it, it fits perfectly. Don't force anything. So same thing here. Make sure you see the two holes and a tooth on top. Make sure it fits in the same orientation as you see. There's a one tooth hole in the, the circuit board. And there we go, it should fit perfectly there. Now, if you have any hot glue, you can add it on as extra safety to keep all your plugs in. But if you don't, not to worry, uh, it should still be in very strongly. So here's the uh, rubber uh, connector here that protects dust and water going into it. Uh, the new throttle won't fit in this little hole. So what you have to do is take it and cut off this top piece here. So it fits. There we go. So make sure the rubber uh, piece goes back in. Again, we just cut off this piece here to make it wider for the cable. And that should fit perfectly inside this gap here. And now you can make sure your wires are in. Over here, one and two. Now you can tighten, make sure you don't break or force any wires. That should fit perfectly back in here for you to put the screws, four screws back into your Mac into model here. So now you want to put all four screws back in and lock it as tight as possible. Let's go. So first step, we tighten the brake and the throttle. Don't worry about this, we're going to do it after. But just make sure you're putting these two in a place where you can still fold the, fold the Mercane, so not affecting this, uh, this thing. So here, and tighten. That's for the brake and for the throttle. You can see there's a key here. And just tighten that, sticking to the brake. Again, just make sure it doesn't affect your folding side of it. So now I'm gonna put the uh, handlebar back on. Um, tip, just put some water or something uh, inside of it, because if you put it dry, it's gonna be very hard to put on. So water normally helps loosen it up. Now it's on, there we go. Okay, so now we're gonna put the brake uh, line, sack line back in. So pull the brake lever, take this little piece, make sure the brake, this fits in and the cable is in front. There we go. And I'll shut this back. Make sure the line perfectly goes into, this is all gonna be lined up here, there. In the line, your brake goes back here, and then you just extend and perfectly fit your brake into here. And now tighten this safety, and your brake should be good to go in the front. If it still is a bit of slack, again, you can tighten it over here. There we go. So now let's test that the marking is working well. So brakes are there, throttle. Look at that control. You can choose one, two, three kilometers an hour, and you can go all the way. It's just an eco mode, up to 45. But again, the benefit of this throttle, look at that. You can control up to five kilometers an hour, three kilometers an hour. You have so much more oscillating space for your thumb that allows you to have that full control overall. And there we go, there you have it for the installation of the video. If you have any questions or comments, please write to us and feel free to let us know if you need any help. So there you have it guys, thanks for watching our video of how to install uh, the new throttle at uh, your Mercury Wide Wheel Pro. It isn't the easiest process, but if you do it step by step and just be very careful during all the steps not to affect the wires, the PCB, everything else, um, it, everything should be fine. Uh, please leave us a message or comment if you need any help or if you have any questions, uh, we're always here to help. Thanks and have a lovely day.